Wow, that is truly amazing. Yeah. It, it, it blows me away how time after time, it looks like, you know, like you're outmatched. These guys do this all the time. You've never done this before. How are you possibly going to compete yet? Driving and I racing, it, it really seems to prepare us very well for these opportunities. I mean, I'm assuming you have great skills uh, as a driver. I mean, do you have other driving experience? I know you did some GT Academy. I mean, have you done any real racing or, I mean, time after time experience in real cars? Um, no, I, I've never done an, a real uh, race. I was uh, in the GT Academy 2014. Uh, so I think it was a uh, great preparation because uh, I could try these cars uh, and I, I could try uh, driving on slick tires uh, and uh, many very quick cars, uh, racing cars. Uh, so I think it was a good preparation uh, for uh, the Friends of MX-5 event. But uh, yeah, it, it was like uh, driving a couple of laps and changing cars and and uh, again doing a couple of laps so it wasn't like uh, like um, racing school it was like uh, testing us how how we drive the car yeah like stopwatch go <laughs> yeah I think I racing uh, was uh, I racing fully prepared me for this uh, MX-5 cup car um, because all the skills I uh, I developed in i racing driving this car, I um, moved to the real car, and I was driving the same way because I believed uh, it is going to behave the same way. Because this car was uh, developed uh, at the same time both on the i racing and uh, in the real life. So I believed it's, it's gonna behave uh, really really close. So I started. Uh, with about uh, eighty percent of performance and uh, and trying to build my speed and pace and uh, and uh, get into the car. Uh, so so yeah, the, the way I was driving in a simulator, I uh, completely moved it into the car and it worked. So yeah. <laughs> and and you guys at that competition, it looked like I mean I saw some videos. It looked like you you did some like autocross type driving. It looks like you did some simulation driving. It looks like they had you doing some running and some some testing your uh, hand-eye coordination kind of stuff. It looked like it was a really well-rounded competition. Yeah, that's correct. We, we were driving uh, cup cars on uh, the park motor circuit, uh, also the, the street cars. We were uh, drifting with uh, street cars. Uh, we were doing some... Uh, technique driving on the uh, go-kart track and also we are running uh, so uh, yeah it, it was uh, it was professional competition and they tested us in, in many ways we, we, we were also uh, tested in interview abilities so so the whole time you're there are you just like pitching yourself like I can't even believe I'm here <laughs> oh, oh yeah it was, it was something like, like this is beautiful, <laughs> and the, the park motor circuit looks uh, like like second Laguna Seca. The landscape is the same, and and there is a lot of uh, high speed corners, low speed corners. Uh, so I felt like like it's uh, it's another Laguna Seca, I'm, I'm, and I have to do it to be in the top five. So I did did everything I, I can so to be to be in the top five. That is so fantastic. So at the end of all this, you end up getting another invite, and this is to the to the Mazda MX-5 Cup Global Invitational by invitation only. So Mazda is just picking drivers and saying these are the guys we want in this race, and you get selected to that. Uh, what what was that like? I mean, what went through your mind? You're like, I'm going to America. I'm going to Mazda Raceway. I'm racing against some of the best of the best in the MX-5. That is so fantastic. So at the end of all this, you end up getting another invite. And this is to the, to the Mazda MX-5 Cup Global Invitational by invitation only. So Mazda is just picking drivers and saying, these are the guys we want in this race. And you get selected to that. Uh, what, 
what was that like? I mean, what went through your mind? You're like, I'm going to America. I'm going to Mazda Raceway. I'm racing against some of the best of the best in the MX-5. Oh yeah, it's it's amazing feeling. But uh, the, the most amazing thing uh, in in this uh, uh, whole competition is uh, I did not uh, buy myself uh, a spot in the MX-5 race, uh, but Mazda uh, invited me for the race. So uh, so. They tested me and, and they said, "Okay, this is the guy we want in the in our race. So we want to give him a, give him a car to compete uh, with uh, professional racing drivers uh, from the Battery Tender Global MX-5 Cup Series. So yeah, that's really amazing feeling." Yeah. Now I keep acting as though you guys are up against an unreachable you know goal i mean like again you guys went in as sim racers to go against guys who had experience now you're going to an invitational and you have you know a handful of days driving the car the guys you're going against at mazda raceway i mean john dean he's a series champion like the winningest mazda driver ever uh you're going against the points leader of this year you're going against Glenn McGee, who's basically done what you've done and then now had a whole season of running at the MX-5, including they've all run at Mazda Raceway, which we're going to get to in a second. But so how do you feel going in? I mean, I don't want to scare you or anything, but how do you feel going in? I mean, that's amazing competition because of how honed in they are on this scenario. This is what they do every weekend. Um, what's that like? I mean, that's got to feel... Kind of scary. <laughs> oh, um, I, I'm not sure w what should I think about it, but uh, I know I, I will be competing with professional uh, drivers who um, who who are driving from from the beginning of the season, uh, and they would uh, and for example John Dean, who who is uh, usually a champion of MX5 series, so uh, it's it's not gonna be easy. Um, Okay, I'm, I'm, I think I'm quite prepared uh, how to drive on, on uh, Mazda Raceway Laguna Seca, how to uh, place my car um, in a race, because I know how to overtake, how to defend my position, but it's, it's not going to be the same. We won't have a virtual mirror to see where is uh, every car on the track and who is going to um, pass me. Or how to defend? It's gonna be much more difficult because we have we've got only three uh, mirrors, and uh, ba basically you can't see almost nothing. <laughs> it's not it's not like usual. So um, I know it's not gonna be easy, but uh, I'm not gonna back off and just cruise uh, on the track. I'm I'm gonna do 100 percent. Of course, uh, taking into account that this is a real race uh, and I'm. Of course, uh, the, the main goal will be not to crash the car, <laughs> but I think uh, I, I will do it. Mm, but uh, I'm, I'm going to do it 100% and, uh, and, to, uh, and, and focus on the race and try to fight with the guys because uh, I, I managed to beat uh, the guys uh, during Friends of MX-5 uh, um, training event. Uh, even they were uh, professional MX-5 drivers and, and um, season winners. Mm -hmm. So I think I can be competitive, but uh, we'll see. You, you never know what will happen. I, I, I completely agree with you, actually, because A, like you said, you already proven yourself, and B, everything you talked about, the transition from the sim to the, the competition, the Friends of Mazda training event, you know, and you already know how to drive the car. You already know Mazda Raceway, and it's just putting the pieces together when you get there. And like you said, you've already proven yourself. So now Mazda Raceway, that, that track is one of my all-time favorites. And one of the reasons is because it's scary and, and fun and has some real uh, uh, interesting spots to, to control your car. Uh, turn six, you know, uh, the corkscrew. Uh, the tremendous amount of elevation change, which... When I went to the track, seeing it in-game, it's like even as good as the in-game version is, it doesn't prepare you for just how big it is in real life. Um, anyway, uh, uh, how do you like driving Mazda Raceway? Oh, um, the Mazda Raceway Laguna Seca is uh, 
is for sure very difficult and technical track. You have to be you have to be very smooth with your inputs. You mustn't overdrive the car because it won't be rewarding from this track. It's it's uh, the track is uh, very interesting and. I also wanted to prefer to prepare even more for the race, so uh, I did some practice with Oculus Rift to see uh, how really uh, turns look like and uh, how big are elevation changes. Because on the uh, screen you can't see it, but if you have uh, an Oculus, uh, you really see how how steep it is sometimes. Uh, for example, corkscrew. So. Um, yeah, I really like, uh, after I nailed the track, I really like driving it because uh, it, it's really fun to see that people are, are struggling on every corner and it, it's like uh, like this for me. <laughs> I hope I'll do the same in the, in the real cars. <laughs> Uh, I, I hope so, too. So, uh, one guy you will be competing against, Glenn McGee, obviously. I've had him on the show a couple of times. Uh, do you know Glenn? Have you ever met him online? or? Um, he, uh, of, of course, we met, uh, I, I met him and we are friends. Uh, we were friends even before. Uh, he, he went in Barcelona. Uh, he was the member of our small uh, team, Team Potato, uh, which uh, I was in during uh, the whole season. So uh, he told me some tips uh, about how to drive the car, how to behave, and so on. And uh, they were very crucial for uh, for winning the season. Uh, and I hope, uh, yeah, I, I think he, he he will be my benchmark for. Uh, for the race because his on his first race he qualified in the top ten so I want to do the same and even better but of course it, it won't be easy because all the guys from the battery tender um, global global MX5 Cup uh, have been there before on the first race so so they know uh, what to do to be quick on on, on the on the Mazda raceway like in Maseka but uh, yeah, I'll do my best to, to be even better than, than Glenn. <laughs> yeah, and maybe even win the whole Sorry. thing. No, no, that's, <laughs> hey, it's, it, that's the, the winning attitude. So uh, we're talking to you here today. So, <laughs> so that's what's most important. Uh, let's just say you did win. I, I, if I read this correctly, I think the winner of this gets a chance to drive the actual Mazda prototype, which is an amazing car. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. I'm looking forward to it, but it, it won't be easy to win because uh, MX-5 Cup Series I are one of the toughest or or maybe even the toughest competition, uh, racing competition in the world, so it, it won't be easy. You can, you can be uh, the, the fastest guy, but you can finish on 10th position. It, it all depends uh, how you place the car, where you play, place the car during the race, if you, if you can see it. Uh, what to do, how how the race develops, uh, you can win. But but I think the top ten guys are, I think, have the same pace through the whole race. So it, it's not going to be easy. Well, we certainly are all wishing you luck. It'll be great to see how well, you do against those guys. And I just I want to you know personally congratulate you. I mean, this is a tremendous accomplishment to get to where you're at. And then next month, getting to take it one step further is just icing on an already beautiful cake. So, I, you know, before I let you go, I'm sorry, I do have one more question. I understand you're a pilot in the Polish Air Force. And, you know, I always think about race car driving at its peak level. What's the timing like? I mean, is that a preparation for what you're doing here when you get into that intensity level of racing a real car i mean is the timing a precision is there similarities do they they transfer from one to the other um okay so uh, that's right i'm a military uh, instructor pilot in polish air force so i'm teaching young cadets how to fly a plane so we are doing uh, all kinds of uh, of loops barrel rolls and and something like that uh, we are flying two ship formation tactics, uh, so it's uh, it's it's really a tough question. Uh, if it helped me to to be as good uh, as in flying uh, in in a simulation and racing. But, uh, 
uh, the, the speed is uh, half almost every day. I'm flying over 400 kilometers per hour with our turboprop uh, training uh, aircraft. So I think uh, flying a plane uh, let me uh, learn how to uh, make, make decisions quick and uh, and make good decisions at the same time. So, yeah, of course, it's all about um, precision, timing, and, uh, and feeling the whole machine, because if you, if you don't feel machine, you, you can't... Uh, 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 ...go for 100%, so, yeah, I, I think being a pilot uh, really helped me in this matter. Yeah, 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 that's great. But, uh, I think uh, going back to, to cars, uh, uh, this feeling being in a car, uh, for example, for, for the guys who started driving with, with uh, real cars and then moved to simulators, it's much more difficult for, uh, for them than for the guys who started on simulation and then moved to the car. Because uh, uh, moving from the simulator, you in a real car you have additional feeling uh, in your body, so um, it's it's even easier for you to to adapt to the car. Um, yeah, I can see that too. Excellent. Well, I'm glad I asked you that one question, except for my uh, already saying goodbye to you. So now I am going to say goodbye and thank you to you, Camille. Good luck next month at Mazda Raceway. We're all going to be uh, I'll, I'll be following it, probably covering it here on the show. And uh, again, just wishing you the best of luck and thanks for being here today. Oh yeah, thank you very much, and once again, thank you for the invitation. So there you have it, Camille Franchak, all the way from Poland to Mazda Raceway Laguna Seca for the Mazda MX-5 Cup Global Invitation against Glenn McGee and some of the best MX-5 drivers in the world, from sim racer to potential race car driver. You gotta love the story, you gotta love it. So this is The Sim Pit, I'm Sean Cole, and we will see you on the track.